You throw her here with uh, Brandon Jr. star Elijah Murillo, uh, 15 12 6. Uh, huge performance uh, in the extra large uh, schools uh, boys' varsity race at the 45th ASIC Schools of Business and Inventational. Fantastic effort for, uh, for the group. Th uh, three guys, uh, yeah. <laughs> so 15 30. Obviously, just uh, a lot of reasons uh, to smile. Uh, before I talk about how brilliant the, t uh, the team was, yeah. can you just talk to me about, about just that conviction and that courage that you had to attack the second mile the way you did, man? That was so inspiring. Yeah. I just knew that I wanted to go out, relax, and save for the second and last mile because I knew here at Clovis, that's where all the carnage goes down. Yeah. So everything goes down, yeah. Uh, how much has, has it, uh, been a benefit, you know, just in terms of having so many amazing guys uh, uh, to train with and the fact that, like, you guys train tough. Like, your, like, your head coach is tough, your teammates are tough. Like, I mean, like, you, I mean, a lot of people want to go and find, you know, all the, all the flat, you know, uh, and I'm not saying, like, you know, events like Woodbridge aren't important or whatever, but, like, but you guys train tough. Like, how, how beneficial did you feel like that was for you in the second half of the race? I feel like that was great. We trained on a ton of hills. We pushed on every single hill. Do hill repeats all throughout summer. So that definitely helped me push on the second mile. Most definitely. To have, uh, to have the group you really seize this opportunity. Yeah. Really respond uh, uh, to the challenge. I mean, uh, obviously, you, uh, you're leading the way, but you know, but you know, everybody kind of filled their role. Every, uh, every, every you know, everybody kind of you, uh, you know, kind of hit their paces and whatnot. Like, it's only mid-October, Elijah. Like, yeah. how, like, how encouraging is that for the postseason? It's definitely a great race that we should have had before, but now it's finally happened. Now we can get our heads out of our butts, and then we can really put put it down a postseason. Was was it just just a matter of uh, of just trusting in the process and uh, and believing? I mean, obviously, I know that you know maybe all the uh, you know, all the outcomes haven't been you know what, yeah. what everybody has projected or, uh, or or forecasted. But was it was it just a matter of just kind of like just turning the off button and just you know just trusting in each other, trusting in the training, trusting in the process, and just kind of letting it unfold organically as opposed to like you know overanalyzing it, overthinking it. Yeah, definitely. We definitely had a lot of team talks and just talking it over at what we can do and improve. And that definitely benefited for us to uh, perform this race. Most definitely, I, uh, I always say like you know you can't you can't handpick the competition, you can't handpick the draw of when you're going to compete. Yeah. But any time uh, that you're competing this early in the morning, when the course is is, is this favorable and this and this pristine, like like were you really m uh, mindful of that? Like you know because so many times, depending on you know when the race lines up at state or when the race lines up here like you, you know you could be you know in the, in the middle of the day and it could be 25 30 degrees warmer so the fact that you got you guys got such an awesome draw this morning you know and, and the fact that the course is still you know pretty much pristine yeah. I, I mean like were, were you really trying to take advantage of that in the latter part of the race yeah we definitely knew coming into this it's going to be um the conditions are going to be great so we definitely had that in our minds for awesome. this race not for any pressure but because yeah. of the maximum amount of respect okay <laughs> When you're at 15, 12.6, it's not that far away from that far left-hand column saying 14 instead yeah. of 15. Not, like I said, not for the sake of any pressure or expectation, but just for you, for reassurance, for affirmation, for validation that it's like you are doing the right things. And that when you get in a race with a bunch of other guys, you are capable of, uh, of doing that. Like how excited does that have you for the rest of the season? It definitely has me excited for states and I'll have to go against Trey Caldwell, Ana Stephanopoulos, all those good guys. So it definitely gives me high hopes to race against them. Yeah, because you know uh, Aiden's already been to 14. You know yeah, Trey wants to get to 14. But 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 you but I mean just like today, like you know whether it was Max Douglas, whether it was Evan Awa, like you relish that challenge, right? And the fact yeah. that you know you did it largely on your own today, the fact that you're going to have those guys there, like uh, I mean again, that's November 30th. We're celebrating you on October 12th. Uh, but I just yeah, uh, but is is that the inspiration that, that you need to know that it's like, hey, we could collectively do this together, and Elijah Murillo doesn't have to do it all by himself? Yeah, definitely. Awesome, buddy. 15-12-6, uh, phenomenal performance for, uh, for the guys uh, as well. Uh, if you don't know uh, about uh, what Brandon's going to bring to the table in the second yeah. half of the season, I think everybody figured it out uh, uh, today. Congratulations, man. Thank you.